Hey guys, what's going on? In this tutorial, we're going to look at how to set up a basic Hello World Lambda function that's triggered by a CloudWatch scheduled event rule. That way, we can have our Lambda function execute at any time interval of our choice. So if that sounds good, please stick around and let's do this. All right, guys, so by the end of this video, you'll know not only how to set up a basic AWS Lambda function, but also how to configure it to fire at any regular time interval of your choosing. So our first step is gonna to be to create an execution role for our Lambda function so that it has the basic permissions it needs to write logs to CloudWatch. Then we'll go into Lambda and set up a basic hello world function and just verify that it works. Next, we'll go over to CloudWatch where we'll set up a rule to invoke our Lambda function every few minutes. Finally, after some time, we'll check our CloudWatch logs and verify that our Lambda function is being invoked at regular intervals by our CloudWatch event. And with that, let's get right into it. All right, so head on over to aws.amazon.com and go ahead and log into your management console. Now, the first step again is gonna to be to create an execution role for our Lambda function. So our first stop is gonna be IAM. All right. And once you're there, go ahead and select roles from the left-hand menu and click on create role. All right, so once you're here, just ensure that AWS service is selected and go ahead and select Lambda, since this is for our Lambda function, and go ahead and click on next permissions. All right, now in the search box, go ahead and start to type in AWS Lambda basic execution role. If you just enter the first few characters of that, it should show up. And what this role does, if we expand it right here, we can see that it provides write permissions to CloudWatch logs. And that's really all we need this role to do. So that looks good. Go ahead and click on Next. We can skip tags. We don't need any tags for this exercise. So go ahead and click on Next Review. All right, let's give this guy a name. I'm going to call it Hello World Lambda Role but you can give it any name you want, obviously. Uh, so everything looks good here. Let's go ahead and click on Create Role. All right, and there is our new role. So we are done here. Let's go ahead and navigate over to Lambda. All right, so here's where we'll set up our Lambda function. So go ahead and click on Create Function. And we're going to create a function from a blueprint this time. So go ahead and select Blueprints. All right, and let's search for Hello World. And there should be a couple of different options we can choose from. Make sure the dash is in here or else we, you won't get the correct options. All right, so we're going to choose the second one here, just this very basic vanilla Hello World starter function. This is uh, the most basic Lambda function you could, you could set up. So... Um, that's good for the purposes of this tutorial. So go ahead and click on Configure. All right, and let's give it a name. I'm just going to say Hello World Lambda. All right, so for Role, leave it as Choose an Existing Role. And for Existing Role, we'll select the role that we created in the previous step, Hello World Lambda Role. All right, and scroll to the bottom and go ahead and click on Create Function. All right, great. So our Hello World Lambda has been created, and we just need to edit a few things here to get this working. Now I'm going to blow up my screen size here. Let's see. Just so you can see it a little bit better. There we go. That should be good. Okay, so uh, if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see the body of the function. And let's go ahead and um, what do we want to do here? All right, let's go ahead and get rid of everything here. And we're gonna do a console.log. Well, I guess since this is a hello world function, we should at least say hello world. All right, so we'll do that for the first line. All right, then let's do another console log. And this time we'll output the event. Well, we'll, we'll put some text here. Let's just say logging scheduled event. And let's output the event as well which will just be an object. OK, 
Okay, that looks good. Um, now the next thing we want to do is set up a test event. So go ahead and click on test at the top. All right, and we'll just say hello world event. And we can assign arbitrary values to our keys one, two, and three here. So let's just say orange, apple, banana. <laughs> just so uh, these values are recognizable when we look at our logs later, all right? So scroll down a bit and go ahead and click on create. And so let's change event to event.key1 so that we see uh, one of the values that we just set up in our test event. So go ahead and click Save, and then let's click on Test. All right, and this will just ensure that our Lambda is working at a basic level. So if we expand this, um, and here we go, Hello World, Logging Schedule Event, Orange. All right, so everything looks good here with our basic little uh, Lambda function. Um, great, so next step is going to be to go ahead and go over to CloudWatch and set up an event so that this Lambda is triggered or invoked at a regular interval. All right. Now I'm gonna, we're not going to have any key values in our, uh, once this is being invoked by CloudWatch, so I'm just going to go ahead and get that key, go ahead and remove that key one and leave it as event and save our function. Okay. All right, so let's navigate over to CloudWatch from the top menu and just type it in the search box if you don't already have it in your history over to the left. All right, and once you get here, let's go ahead and look for events on the left-hand menu and select rules right underneath events. So events rules, and we're gonna create a rule. Great, now for our event source, let's go ahead and select schedule because we're, we wanna have this rule invoked every so often, every few minutes. So let's see, I'm going to do a fixed rate of, and the most granular unit of time that you can do here is by the minute, you know, one minute. Um, or you can select hours or days. If you want to have a job run once a day or once every few hours, you've got those options here as well. So for the purpose of this tutorial, uh, I'm going to have this thing run every minute. So I'm just going to change this to one. All right. Um, now over to the right hand side. I'm going to select add a target and it should be defaulted to Lambda function. So just leave that as is and we're going to select our Hello World Lambda function from the drop down. All right, now go ahead and click on configure details. So let's give our rule a name. I'm just going to say Hello World Lambda rule. I'm sure I could think of a better name if I really put some thought into it, but this will do for now. And I'm just going to add a short description here. There we go. And let's go ahead and click on Create Rule. All right, now you can see here's our new rule here, and the status is already green. So this rule is already in effect as of now. All right, so what I'm going to do, um, we're going to wait a few minutes and let, let our Lambda be invoked a couple of times. And then we're going to go over to Logs. Well, we can navigate over there right now and then wait. So if I choose logs from the left-hand menu, I should see a list of log groups. All right, so I'm going to look for the one corresponding to our Lambda function, Hello World Lambda, and just click on that. And here we can already see a couple of log streams. Now, if we check the timestamp, well, this one looks like it's from just now, but the, the, the previous entries are from uh, probably before when I was uh, testing my Lambda over at AWS Lambda via the test event. So we can, uh, actually we can open this one and see if it if it's run our function yet. Yeah, and there we go. So it runs, apparently it runs the first one right away. I, I didn't actually know that. Um, so it, it appears like it doesn't wait a minute. It just goes ahead and runs uh, or invokes the Lambda right away. All right, so I'm gonna go back one level up. And what I'm gonna do now is wait 10 or 15 minutes. I'm gonna pause the video and then we'll come back here and we should see a bunch of new entries for, you know, every minute that our Lambda was invoked. All right. So I'll pause the video and I'll be right back. All right, guys. So it's been about 15 minutes. So let's check our logs again and see what the activity looks like. All right. So I'm going to, again, I'm under, let me back up to the top level here. So if you're coming here for the first time, 
Uh, I'm going to go under logs, and then I'm going to choose the hello world lambda that we've targeted. All right. Now I'm going to drill into this latest log here. All right. Now once we look at the detail, now if we scroll down here, we can see some log output for just about every minute. 451, 452, 453, 44, and so on and so forth. So it uh, looks like everything is working fine, and we see our hello world being logged every minute, uh, as well as our event object. So everything is working as intended, and um, our event role is calling our Lambda function once every minute. So that is it. We are done here. Uh, now I am going to do a little bit of cleanup because I don't want this obviously to go on and on every minute calling my function. So what I can do to, to stop this basically is go back to events and roles and I just have to select our hello world lambda role and delete it from the actions drop down. All right. Are you sure you want to delete? Yes, I do. All right. So our lambda function is no longer being invoked. And finally, I will go back to lambda and just delete the function as well. Actions delete. And just to be complete, I can go back to IAM and delete that execution role as well. All right, just good practice to clean up, especially when we're working with test code here. Hello world, real lambda role. All right, and delete. All right, and that concludes this tutorial on triggering Lambda functions via CloudWatch events. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you find this content useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, let me know in the comments how this worked for you or if you ran into any issues, and I'll, I'll do my best to help you out. And I uh, hope to see you in the next video. All right, guys, take care. Bye.